you know, I have to admit it, pioneers don't know where they're going, uh, but they certainly know who is leading them. Those of you who uh, will remember, and you better all remember, uh, our father in faith, Abraham, was really a pioneer. He set out on the land. He didn't know where it was or what it was. He packed up his bags, his uh, all his belongings, his family, and he set off in a direction for one reason, because God was leading him. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine going to, to, to a pastor today and saying, uh, God's telling me to sell everything I have, uh, load all my stuff in an RV, and just drive. I'll be led by God to a land yet to be discovered. Uh, could you bless me in this trip? <laughs> yeah, well, it was pretty amazing. Uh, thank God there was nobody to hold him back uh, back then. But you know what? We can't allow anybody to hold us back right now. Because it is true, uh, in my own journey, I know who's leading me, but I don't know where it's going to end up. I don't know uh, what I'm going to find. And yet, you know, I think that I think that maybe what I am finding, I find along the way. That's why I uh, leave little snippets of what I find as uh, I go every day. I am on an active, uh, spiritual, somewhat metaphysical journey that, by the way, you shouldn't be afraid of the term metaphysical. The only reason we're afraid of it is because we were told to be afraid of it. But there is this natural, spiritual mixing that brings heaven down and brings up us into him. Uh, and we say up and down, but in reality it's not up and down, it's sort of over here and over there because we're uh, multidimensional beings and you are a multidimensional being because you have the unique ability among God's creation to be able to communicate, understand, fellowship, and uh, a dimension beyond yourself, beyond the five senses, beyond the dimension that we uh, are most comfortable in. Uh, but the Holy Spirit continues to draw us into that realm of the undiscovered frontier. And that undiscovered frontier is really Christ. It is really Jesus himself. We've explored enough of him to know we can be saved, baptized in water, <clears throat> filled with the Holy Ghost, uh, uh, occasionally healed, walk in the gifts of the Spirit, <coughs> all of which are simply the very beginning stages of what it is to live in harmony and union with God. We really don't know what union with God can produce in us. Uh, and yes, people will try to define you. People will try to discourage you. People will try to uh, sometimes even marginalize you. But you have to understand who you are. And if you are not living in rebellion, if you are not carrying a bad attitude towards uh, uh, anybody, towards a pastor, but if you are being drawn, see, a, a bad attitude and a bad heart pushes you away from what is. But the Holy Spirit will draw you away from what is. That's a big difference. He'll draw you into himself. <clears throat> and you can't look back to allow others uh, to try to define who you are and what you are. Because when we're always looking back, worrying about what other people are thinking, then our eyes are really going in two directions. That plow gets a little crooked. Uh, that, that path we make gets crooked because we're too worried about uh, what people are doing behind us. I'll tell you what, we are living in some amazing times and we need to be discouraged, uh, we need to be encouraged and we, we need not to let ourselves be discouraged by ourselves and, and, and by the definitions of what church is supposed to be by others because 
everything is changing. The scenery is changing. The nomenclature has to change in order to meet the new experiences that we have now. Uh, years ago, you would never heard the word intimacy talked about in our walk with the Lord and, and, and as freely as it is now. The way we worship now uh, is far different than the hymns of uh, many years ago. And the, the, the point is, is that when we discover new things, we see things we've never seen before. And our human language as it is just can't figure it out. And, and so we have to ask God for help. But don't be afraid to go forward. Don't be afraid to let your heart lead you. Uh, let the Holy Spirit draw your heart. And, and sometimes I feel like I am in a free fall into his presence. <sighs> it's amazing. Sometimes I feel like I'm in a free fall. And yet I still miss 99.99% .99 of all that he is. And, and I, I can feel those forces pulling me back, trying to drag me back to that one one hundredth percent of Jesus that is safe, not understanding that the 99.9999999% of what we haven't discovered yet is just as awesome, just, uh, just as powerful. And... Uh, Sometimes we're afraid of that, though, aren't we? Because it's so difficult to imagine uh, what would happen if God would be out of our control. And, and a pioneer just packs his bag and walks. And he trusts the Holy Spirit, trusts Jesus, and, his, and spends a lot of time uh, exploring the newness of him and enjoying the freedom of the uninhibited uh, imagination to discover the riches and the glory that are found in Jesus. And, and I think that is the, the, the real heart of this thing, it, is that we are exploring Jesus. I am not exploring spirituality. I am not interested in some kind of a metaphysical experience that is outside of Christ. My heart, my goal, my desire is a daily one-on-one -on -one experience with him with whom we have to do. Uh, with him who saved me and called me to himself that we might experience all the glories and wonders of Jesus Christ. So, pioneers, be encouraged. Open your heart and go where the winds of the Spirit will blow you. Thank you so much. God bless you. If you like this, share it with others. And you can follow me on all these snippets on Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and some others. Bye-bye.